Hi there, my name is Kramer Wetzel. This is the Astrofish.net weekly update for the week that starts July 9th, 2007. Welcome, one and all. Hope you had a happy 4th of July. I'm out at the lake right now. Figured it was a good time to try to cut something like this. I don't know if this is going to work out or not, but we're going to give it a try. Monday, what do we have to look forward to? Mercury is still sort of retrograde right now. And you can tell from the wave action behind me what is going on, what the water condition is like. This isn't really about fishing. This is about astrology. This is about a horoscope for you. Now, we're going into the last quarter moon and just the tail end of the Mercury being retrograde stuff. As of right now, i got a firm grip on the little camera part of this. I'm going to be letting go of it in just a second. You're going to see what it's really like. There's a nice stiff breeze. It's keeping everything cool. That's the good news. So there is a little bit of relief. That's what you can look forward to. A little bit of relief. Hey, right, when I let go of this thing, you can see that the wind really kicks up a little bit and it sort of rattles everything. That's kind of like what's going on with Mercury being retrograde. There's going to be kind of a rattle with everything. Those things are still shaking a little bit. Standing here in a short line, I'm fixed to be pitching lines right out into that breeze. I'm going to tie a real heavy sinker on. I'm going to be sinking some uh, some fresh bait that I've just cut. Got some real nice fresh bait that I've just cut, and I'm going to be playing it out there into the lake. Hope that I'm going to catch some catfish, maybe a striper. Never can tell. Sort of the fun with fishing is you're not sure what you're going to catch. If you're going to catch anything, part of what this is about too. See the shaking that's going on? Seeing that strong little breeze coming off? The good news is that breeze sort of cools everything down. That's good. Bad news is it makes it a little bit difficult. I'm standing here on the shoreline fixing to be pitching it into that stuff. It's going to be hard. Life and astrology, it all sort of imitates what's going on. That's why I like fishing as a metaphor. This is not... The best of conditions, on the other hand, it's not the worst. With conditions like this, it's a matter of figuring out what it is that you're going to do. Now, we're in this last quarter moon. Next weekend would be a good time to go fishing. That's the good news. And next week's going to be a good time to, to start out something fresh. Get a good, clean start on the rest of the summer one of the ways that I'd look at this. This next week, though, we're going to be dealing with some adverse conditions. I really think they're going to be adverse planetary conditions, but you can deal with this any which way you want. What I would suggest is you get a nice heavy sinker. A nice heavy sinker goes a long way towards making this a little bit easier to deal with. A nice heavy sinker and, and maybe some nice stinky bait, something that's been sitting there for a while. We've got some old dead shrimp which I've got, it's been in the ice box, packed up in some freeze, packed up in some salt for a while now. This is kind of an offshore setup, and I'm using it here at the lake. Now, the reason I'm using this at the lake is because I'm using something that I've been dealing with for a while, and I know that the smelly stuff is what the fish like. As you can guess, the water's pretty churned up. They need something that's got a little bit of stink on it so they can locate it. That's what's important. So, we're dealing with a little bit of smelly stuff right now. What you want to do with this and how you want to work it is to tie a nice heavy sinker on, get that out there where you think the fish are, and sit back. Wait. It's going to happen. It's going to happen this week, too. In the meantime, we're still dealing with the last of the little mercury being retrograde stuff, and it's like this camera. When I let go, it starts shaking quite a bit. It's sort of a pal palsied camera, if you will. That's part of the message, too. Realizing what you can reach out and steady, what you can do to work around Mercury being retrograde, and what you can do to get around some of the conditions right now. I can't change the conditions. What I can do is modify what I usually use and approach it with a little bit of a different tactic. I'm going to suggest the same thing for everybody else as long as we're dealing with the last of this Mercury retrograde and the last quarter moon. Hope that makes some sense to you. Good luck, and y'all have fun this weekend.